Hey guys, welcome back to Artosis Cast. We are continuing the China Korea race battle. Uh, this is, of course, the semifinals. The winning team will go up against the Zerg team. Of course, a mixed lineup of every race uh, between the Chinese pros and Korean pros. Here, we happen to have a couple of Chinese pros going at it. Zhan Hun here in the top right of Blitz Y. And of course, he was able to take down Haya, who already has a couple of victories over Sins and J Star. Very uh, kind of surprising games back there. But Zhan Hun strong enough to take that victory. And <clears throat> now he is playing against his countryman, Xuan Xuan. Now, Xuan Xuan is uh, probably just a bit weaker than the other players. Uh, it's not that he's bad, he is a good player for sure. But uh, yeah, I, I think the other ones, like, there's just there there is a bit of a difference i've casted a fair amount of like all of these guys games like every single player in this tournament and i would definitely uh say that Xuan john is is probably the weakest overall uh so i do think that this is going to be a bit favored here for john hun who is going across the map really really quickly you see he's already got his forward gateway down for some zealot pressure and coming up here to steal that gas which is all pretty standard stuff Looks like uh, SimCity being set up here. You can actually put a depot there and make a couple of points where Marines can go through, but Zealots cannot. And the gas does get stolen rather quickly. So we'll see how Xuan Xuan ends up dealing with this. You know, one thing I do want to mention is Xuan Xuan uh, is someone that uh, actually does like a lot of kind of cheesy, aggressive plays uh, in each matchup. And so like maybe the gas steal can be something that can help out his style a bit, right? Like maybe... You know, there's always a chance of something like Marine counter pressure or even a Marine medic all in, that type of thing, uh, depending on how things go. So just something to keep your eye on. Uh, right now, some heavy micro from both sides, just trying to harass as much as he can with this probe and doing a great job of it. You can see the amount of damage he's putting out. Chuan Chuan even turning to repair the SCV. Uh, throws down that depot, which will cut off the uh, travel path there as well. And that first all, it's gonna be out shortly. Uh, a good time scout from Xuan Xuan. This should force the Zealot to turn around if he does this right. Yeah, throws that eBay down. Now, does he turn this around? It looks like he does not. So the Zealot's going to be going across the map. And the eBay, well, he sends a second probe. But this really slows the uh, slows the Nexus. I love this type of play against offensive gas on two-player maps. It's very, very strong. Because the best thing Protoss can do is throw their Nexus down while putting pressure on. It's really, really hard to play against. And a lot of times their Nexus will almost be done by the time you get yours going because of the strength of the Zalot pressure. So uh, great job slowing him. And of course, he'll cancel that before the end. And here we go. Let's see what that micro of Xuan Xuan looks like here against Sean Hun. Gets rid of the gas. Okay, very good timing there. This needs... Okay, he cancels that in perfect time. Starts his bunker. Dude, this is good. This is good solid stuff. But... The bunker's not going to finish without the uh, Zealots getting down here. Okay, brings two more SCVs and another Marine. I think he's going to do this just right. It really looks like he's going to just, just, just get this defense uh, done correctly. Look at that beautiful SCV block. Dude, that was perfect. Perfect SCV blocking. Gets his Marines up there. He made five total. That's, that's actually pretty solid. You might look and say, like, oh, he needs four. Actually, the fifth is helpful because... A lot of Protoss will take these three Zealots and then run them past later on. And the Marine can do things like help block a little bit and add that additional damage. So down goes the command center. We have the Nexus started. And I tell you what, I look at this position and it's just completely fine on both sides. Completely 100% fine. I, like Neither side to me seems to be ahead right here. He's even getting his depot up before that factory. So, I mean, you know, you've got an extra 50 gas in the bank, but it's important to get that depot up. You got to get that SCV production back online. Looks like we might have the SCV go out for some more scouting as this one is very, very low with the probe chasing it. If he can get up into the main base, it's pretty huge. Okay, does get hit there, and there's actually a fourth Zealot. So these are going to come in. Uh, there's no way on earth you don't go if you make the fourth Zealot. The three Zealots with some damage already on one, maybe you'll skip. But yeah, he goes up, and he just attacks the bunker. So that caught Xuan Xuan off guard. He had the SUVs blocking the ramp. That's normally what players do. Uh, but he actually takes on the bunker in like very quick time. But look at this. I, I think the micro of Xuan Xuan is quite strong. Uh, maybe not targeting exactly the right Zealots here, but everything looks good. He should probably think about throwing down another bunker just because any Dragoon that comes up is going to really give him a hard time, especially with this additional Zealot. And in fact, this Zealot 
Going to run in and try to hit the Marines. That's a very good play, I think, because we already have two that are damaged. Like, three full health Marines with good micro beat a Zealot, but when you have damage like that, you can do nothing really but run. So, this Zealot being incredibly annoying, he's going to run back, and I don't think he's going to take any damage. I got to say, like, maybe this wasn't the right type of idea of a build for Sean Hun, because it feels like, uh, you know, he, again, I've, I've casted a lot of games of all these guys. I've watched a lot of games of them, and Schwan Schwan, I feel like he falls apart in kind of standardish games, but it seems like these early, these early game scenarios where it's like, okay, well, there's like a lot of aggression going on. You got a micro. Well, I, I think Schwan Schwan's played beautifully. He's played beautifully here. So he is pushing these zealots back. Still, another one has run through. Only uh, dragoons on the way now. We'll see if he tries to run by with that. Uh, second gateway as well as robotics range started up. And of course, with that siege tank out, oh, you should be micro in that. You never know if the goon's gonna go hog wild and try to get a kill. I don't think it's gonna be able to, but uh, yeah. From here, like, you know, we've had a lot of things happen and it, uh, okay, the, the Zolts that were lost were worth a bit more than the Marines that were lost. And I don't feel like we really lost that many SCVs on the Terran side. The workers are within two or three at all times here. He's getting his engineering bay. He's getting his siege mode, multiple siege tanks out. Everything feels totally fine on each side. Like, and I look over at what Jean Hun has. And it's not like he's behind. His position isn't fantastic. Like a lot of times on these two player maps, you actually get ahead from the offensive gas opener. But because Schwan Schwan dealt with it just so beautifully, so perfectly, like, I don't know, maybe I'd give it, it's like 55% favored Tron Tron, but like that type of favor as Terran, what that means is that like, you probably just won't take any damage, right? From then on, like if Reaver Harass will come and you'll just block at that type of thing. Now, Sean Hun looks like he is gonna be taking a Nexus here in the top left after his Reaver, which is a totally good play. Like get that Reaver down there, get some harassment going. Missile turrets are already going up. There's a missile turret under this eBay. Oldest trick in the book. You hide it so when they fly and they don't see it until the missiles start shooting out of the eBay. And he's got one here, here. So we don't have any defense in this bottom left. And this is not super close. So if you fly a shuttle here, it'll barely take any shots. It might take two shots as it goes by, I want to say. And that's not quite enough. So I would say that this is not perfectly placed a lot of times people are placing them way up here and doing three uh on on blitz y but it's okay it's like this is this is a good base of defense especially since he's getting goliaths three should be enough for these guys now drops this all out and like i said there's no anti-air here so he does get that scare about takes a little bit of damage there loses his shields for the most part and the shuttle is going to turn around you know the goliath coming in everything looks completely safe once again here for Schwan Schwan. Uh, getting a third factory. He's actually making a lot of Goliaths right now and getting that Goliath range. And there you go, going up to five facts. So this is all like really standard stuff uh, for Blitz Y. And of course, we are in the five factory meta as as this cast is going on. So not a big surprise. And in fact, you can see stopped on 45 SCVs. This is basically perfect for a five factory push that you're going to really commit to. Um, and a push like this, we'll see what... Jean Hun is going to do uh, defensively, I guess. Now, there's a few things. First off, obviously, shuttle speed is good. Slowing it with Reavers, very important. But if you lose your shuttle in this area, look, I'm going to make a big box. I've zoomed out, right? Here's the front of the Terran Natural. Here's where the choke goes. If you lose it in this area, Protoss almost always loses if the Reaver goes down in this area. You need to keep the shuttle with Reavers alive because you must slow this push. You must make them siege multiple times going across the map. Otherwise, you're gonna get run over. Now we can see third Nexus is up. He's gone up to four gates. He's getting a Citadel. So these are all really important things. Getting Zealot legs is very, very important. You also wanna go up to at least six gates here. You could go more, but six gates is kind of like the area where it's like, okay, you should be able to hold if you do this just right. So let's see what Schwan Schwan's push looks like. He moves forward. He has a lot of Goliaths. Look, he's going to go after that shuttle. And here it is. It's going to go down. So he loses the shuttle. Slowing this is going to be very hard from here. He ends up actually losing three Goliaths for the shuttle. So it was like, you know, it, it was still like reasonable trades. And there is another Reaver here. 
Uh, we don't see right now another shuttle on the way, so it's going to be hard to slow things because of that. But yeah, this is where Xuan Xuan really should just gather everything he has and shove it up the center really, really quickly. As soon as you kill that shuttle, the Reavers lose a ton of their potential and suddenly your five-fact play becomes very, very strong indeed. Now, Zealot Legs are on the way. Four more gates as well. So, Jean Hun is going for the quicker legs, but adding four gates. So, like, eight gate speed Zealot is basically what he's going to do once he has the Dragoon count that he wants, which I think he's basically very close to. He is running around right now, and this is a little bit of a counterattack immediately. No real defense set up. Does siege a couple tanks here. In the meantime, Xuan Xuan trying to push across the map. Jean Hun kind of pushing in here and trying to deal some damage. Very strong pushes on both sides. Like this is a this is a smart move to kind of screw up his opponent, but he should pull it back and just slow reinforcements. That way he can just work on picking off the rest of this army. And you can see as this army comes down, he's got it kind of split. It feels like Xuan Xuan is being pulled apart a little bit. He's not able to uh, really focus on doing this push well or the defense well. It feels like he kind of split his attention, but not super, super quality in, in the way that he split it. So now you see the push is basically stopped. So this is a bit of an issue. Yeah. Yeah, he's really far behind now is, I guess, what I what I really have to say. Xuan Xuan, uh, he had a great opening. He sniped the shuttle. Uh, to just make this clear, I've talked about this sometimes in other in other casts and whatnot. You want to put like a turret in this area and lay mines so that those counterattacks are slowed because that's kind of one of the only other ways. Either you slow it down with the Reavers or you kind of do a counterattack, which kind of like slows the reinforcements and maybe the Terran doesn't manage their army correctly. But now just looking at the stats, right? We have like 20 more workers on an additional base. And we have way more supply. He's got more than 20 more army supply, right? So that's rough. Now, it's seven factory for Xuan Xuan, so he's still giving himself an opportunity to make this work. Since he's on seven factory, he actually can... He still has a bit of a chance. But look at this. Immediately running down with these spade zealots. Drops in the Reaver. The Reaver's only going to get one shot. He loses the shuttle as well as the zealots inside of it. And these, dude, the speed lots just getting on top of absolutely everything. He's shoving his Dragoons down this thin choke as well. Turns around as the siege is made from Xuan Xuan. But it does feel like Xuan Hun has taken a great spot here. A great spot. He's gone up to nine gateways. I think he's playing a beautiful game once again. Like, he lost the shuttle, which was an issue. But the counterattack seemed to be more than enough. He's been whittling this down. He's shoving in when he can, when the units are moving. You can see... Like these quick sieges, not perfectly placed from Schwan Schwan, having a hard time pushing through. Once again, he comes in. He's like, oh, you're on siege. Let's go. Gets those speed lots up in the front to tank that damage, to deal that damage as well. Schwan Schwan pulling back. You know, this thin area can be very good for Terran, but right now, feels like he's just being outplayed. We have Sean Hun taking that mineral base. And yeah, it looks like he's going to be able to maybe break this. Again, it's really hard to attack through here with Protoss at this point without Psystorm. Psystorm, very, very strong. Reaver's good in here as well, of course, as you can see. Uh, and he is basically breaking through everything. So we might actually just have this game end pretty quickly. Yeah, it, it feels like there's not like he went up to seven factory. So it did give him like another push. But the push just got cleaned too efficiently. You can see like double the supply right now for Jean Hun. And the fact that he's going up to a fourth base, he's just, he's got, you know, he's going to be able to transfer these probes. He's got great saturation. Here you can see Xuan Xuan is running out of mineral patches in his main. He actually is undersaturated here, as you can see, drastically undersaturated. Undersatur so a bit of an issue there as well. Ooh, very nice mine hit. <laughs> Jean Hun trying to get a mind drag there. Uh, really, I feel like it's kind of a wasteful, wasteful action at this point. Like, yeah, being cost efficient is great, but there's not too much of a point if you have this kind of uh, economic dominance. Dominance, really, because these are basically gone, right? In the next 30 seconds, we're going to see most of this dry up. So it's going to be one base saturation against three base saturation. So three times your opponent's bases, there's just no real way to to win that you know it doesn't matter really how cost efficient you're being on either side 
it becomes a math problem so so quickly then and that's that's how to really secure a win in starcraft one i feel like right you take these these kind of edge cases you put them all together you kind of figure out where you're at you keep getting little edges here and there and you just kind of eventually make it about math where you're like okay there's no catching up right that type of thing which is where i feel like sean hun is getting to right now as his probes go here he's making another nexus great production going on we're very close to the point where there's just not a lot of counterplay that can ever occur like it doesn't matter you give flash this position with with darren and he's still gonna lose He's still going to lose all the time to John in here. And look at this. Gets in there. Way oversaturated patches. Killing, like, so many SCVs. Down to 24 workers. Oof. Great storm drop. A lot of the time, I would say, don't even storm drop here. Just use storms on your opponent's army. But here, to kill that type of worker setup, like, you need 45 workers here. Now he's got 25. So it's like... From bad to worse here for Schwan Schwan. He is rotating his vultures around a little bit, trying to figure out what's what. But I think I think what he's going to figure out about what is, in fact, what is that he is as dead as can be. Right now, throwing down that that third comm sat should be making SCVs off of these. Not really, not really able to do so. I think he's literally what I feel like is going to happen. Like Schwan Schwan is not even going to attack. Because his army's so small. Like, as a Terran player, you look at this. Yeah, see? Okay. Because <laughs> I'm like, yeah, he's getting the info, right? When the vultures ran up here and then I heard a scan, it's like, okay, you're just putting two and two together here, right? He got the other scan or two, maybe just double check. Like, let's say this hadn't been taken and this hadn't been taken, you keep playing. Just to make that clear, right? This is like probably the nail in the coffin from Jean Hun. Obviously, breaking the army in the middle was big. But it's something like this, because like, let's say that it's still, it's three base for Protoss. Well, actually, you know, he's just mining at that point, two bases and you took this and yeah, you're down in SCVs, but maybe you can grind it back. It's the fact that he had this, he had this warping in. Schwan Schwan takes a look at that and says, I can't quite do it. But anyways, what this means is that we got another win for Team Protoss, which is going to tie this up. And it actually leaves us with very exciting players left over. Uh, and that's going to be Mihu and Ske over on the Terran side. And of course, Sean Hun's still playing for Protoss with Paralyze as his backup if he falls. GG. Thanks for watching.